What's going on, fellas? So we back for another top five fragrance video. So in this video, what we're gonna be talking about are the top five fragrances that are high heat and high humidity. So at the time of me recording this video at this moment, it is currently 101 outside uh, with humidity. So uh, a lot of us kind of live in warm weather cities, hot weather cities. You know, you look at Texas, you look at Florida, Miami, you look at Arizona. And with those type of weather conditions, you want fragrances that are able to get through the heat and be able to last. And so you want a long level of longevity. You want a nice scent projection. And then you want a fragrance that will be able to pierce through the sun and the heat. So we have five here for you. Now, Justin, before we get into talking about the fragrances, let's talk about what kind of fragrances would you want in a high heat situation, in a high heat condition. For me, I look at it, it's going to be hot outside. So you definitely want a fresher fragrance rather than a sweeter aromatic fragrance. So you're not going to really want a real vanilla tonka bean. You know, you're not going to want some ambery, some vanilla bomb, some chocolate. You're not going to want anything that's going to resemble any type of candy because it's not going to bode well in those conditions. Especially you look at it, it's going to be hot. So people are probably going to be sweaty. You know, sweaty people or people who are more likely to generate body heat, perspire aren't going to bode well with those sweeter fragrances. It won't mix well with their body chemistry on more occasions than not, right? So instead, you want to go with fresh and clean fragrances. Now, we all, I always talk about the fresh spectrum, right? Because when you think of fresh fragrances, you can really kind of go multiple different ways, multiple different avenues. You can go fresh citrusy, where it's going to be on the more fruity side. You can go fresh fruity, where instead of that citrus like bergamot and lemon, you can go with fruity notes like geranium, apple, pear, right? Um, and those type of fruits, you can go fresh watery or fresh aquatic, you'll hear that kind of thrown around. So those are those salty salt water fragrances, kind of smells like an ocean, can kind of smell like a beach, those type of fragrances. And then you can go fresh musk, right? Fresh musk is gonna be those masculine fragrances that kind of smell like fresh shower gel, so to speak, right? Um, you're gonna have a level of spiciness. So fresh spicy is another one where it can kind of be a little bit like peppery, a little bit like sandalwood, a little bit like geranium, vetiver. Um, what else is another one? Ouds. Ouds is, is one of those Middle Eastern fragrance notes that you, it's, it's hit or miss. It's either going to be really good or for some people it can kind of overpower the fragrance. Now, uh, for me, a, a fragrance note that I like in, in most of my hot weather, warm weather fragrances, and really in all fragrances, but especially when you're talking about hot weather, Ambroxan. Now, all of these fragrances won't have Ambroxan in them, but anytime you have an Ambroxan note in your fragrance, usually it'll bode well because of the projection of longevity and what it can do in the air. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the five fragrances. This first one here, one I haven't mentioned a whole lot, I don't think yet. Uh, on the channel, um, this one it gives remnants of Dior Sauvage, and I'll talk about Dior Sauvage later on. Um, that's definitely one of the more popular, if not the pop, most popular designer fragrance. You know, at least I dare to say all time, maybe possibly to some people. But this one is gonna have a little bit of that DNA, but it's gonna still be a Prada fragrance. And so this first one here is called Prada, and this is Luna Rosa Carbon. Okay, so Prada Luna Rosa Carbon is gonna be on that citrusy, spicy, and then that um, little bit of a powdery fragrance uh, note. So this one's gonna have bergamot, pepper, gonna have lavender, it's gonna have metallic notes, water, coal, and then it's gonna have ambroxan and patchouli in the base. So the original Dior Sauvage DNA that it's kind of similar to is gonna be a little bit more fruity, a little bit more spicy, right? In the mid especially. It's still gonna have that bergamot and pepper in the opening. So when you try it out, and when you spray this one, you're going to get hit with that Dior Sauvage kind of opening, but then it's going to kind of dry down to a more lavender, a more mineral, more watery mid, which to me is why I like this one a little bit better, even than Dior Sauvage, I would say. Dior Sauvage is one of those, while it is popular, it can really choke some people out in terms of it's so strong, it's so peppery, it's so spicy that it can be a little bit off-putting for a lot of people. This here, this Luna Rosa Carbon kind of takes that DNA and calms it down a little bit where it's uh, easier to digest. But then it still has that ambroxan and patchouli in the base to give it that level of projection, that, that level of longevity as well. This one really does well in the heat because of the metallic and that watery notes, that coal in the mid and that lavender really is something that will give it a nice sillage, a nice longevity, a nice projection. 
and it won't choke anybody out, okay? So this is a really good one to start with. It's also more affordable than Dior Sauvage. Dior Sauvage, even on discount, is gonna run you at least 120. This one here, most of the time, will be around 60, 70, maybe even 50, if you get it at a good, dec decent discount, all right? All right, second fragrance is one. You've seen it before, and it still is definitely gonna be the case for a warm weather, hot weather scenario. This here is from the brand of Dolce & Gabbana, and this one here is called Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense, all right? So Light Blue Intense is gonna come with that grapefruit, that watery nose, the juniper, musk, and amber, okay? So this one is gonna be that salt water fragrance for, that is really gonna be good for a hot day at the beach with a towel, you're in uh, sort of white, you're in your swim trunks, you know, your shirt's off. Right, and you really just want something that is going to be that watery fresh, that salty fresh, that mineral fresh that you're going to get. That nice citrus from the grapefruit and the orange is really good, and the longevity, the projection, to really be able to pierce through the heat. It'll be a nice fragrance that'll kind of go with the pool, the water, or the ocean. Okay, so this one here, light blue intense, really good warm weather, hot hot weather fragrance for you. All right, now this third one here is from the brand of Paco Rabanne. Now, most Paco Rabanne fragrances, when we think Paco Rabanne, we think of one million, right? Well, they also have the Paco Rabanne Invictus line of fragrances, and, you know, that's that trophy sort of looking fragrance. Now, you know, they had the original Invictus. The original Invictus that came out in 2016 has been discontinued. Since then, they've came out with a couple other ones. Um, but this one here, for me, when you talk about the scent DNA, the scent profile, and the performance, uh, I think this one really bold well for you in the warm weather and the hot weather. This one here is called Paco Rabanne, and this is Invictus Platinum, okay? So Invictus Platinum is going to come at us with that grapefruit, that mint, that lavender, cypress, and patchouli. Put simply, your ultimate fresh shower, man. Just that fresh grapefruit, that mint and lavender in the mid too makes this so digestible, makes this so nice makes it so pleasant to the nose. Then that cypress and patchouli gives it a nice herbal base that is really, it's not gonna be just overly fruity, right? It's gonna have a level of character. It's gonna have that masculine touch to it. And then it's got that also that aromatic touch too with that lavender. And it all blends well together. It's not the most complex array of notes, but the scent itself is done so nice and so well. And the performance is really good too. So it will project, it will pierce through. It definitely will be able to be worn in the sun. And this one, oof. Just when you when you walk by, think of the central you'll leave as you walk by people. This one is gonna be really good for those type of encounters, right? Nice, fresh, fruity fragrance, nice citrusy fragrance with a great projection, a great sillage and a great central, okay? So definitely get your hands on this one if you haven't already. All right, now this next one, I just did the full breakdown of Mont Blanc, so that, you know, you'll see it in that video, obviously, but this one still is gonna be a great warm weather fragrance. This one's gonna be a little bit more uh, diverse as far as the scent profile and the scent breakdown, but still is a great fragrance for these hot weather days and this one here is called Mont Blanc Explorer Blue. So if you like Invictus Platinum, maybe it's a little too fruity for you, you want it still a little bit more oceanic, you go with this one, this Mont Blanc Explorer Blue. All right, Explorer Blue is gonna come at us with some bergamot, the pink pepper fruity notes in the top. So you're gonna get a nice citrus and fruits in the opening. Then it's gonna kind of dry down to that C note, that ambergris, so it's gonna get a little bit more musky, a little bit more water in the mid. Then the base is gonna give us that woodsy notes, that patchouli and that leather, so that masculine base of woods, patchouli, and sort of just um, leather. That leather really helps the spray because be really masculine. And it's not gonna be overly citrusy, so again, if you don't want your fragrance overly fruity, you want it more on that water court, you definitely want to go with something like this. This also, the projection is really good. Mont Blanc Explorer fragrances really are good for the projection and the performance. Good longevity, good project. Even though this one doesn't have Ambroxan in it, it still has a nice sillage, still has a nice performance. 10 hours, I believe. I mean, on my skin for sure. And um, really for a hot weather day, this would be a great fragrance for you. And it's gonna give you that watery fresh, that citrusy fresh, and that spicy, that fresh spicy accord, all right? All right, last fragrance of the day. One I recently got, and 
This one kind of reminds me of one of the top uh, designers out there, Blue de Chanel, right? Now, Blue de Chanel, while it is one of the more popular fragrances, kind of one of those like every collector has, to me, it's always going to be a timeless fragrance where I don't believe Blue de Chanel will ever go out of style. But this fragrance here kind of took that DNA, made it a little bit, they improved one of the flankers that I'll talk about, but this is from the brand of Aha Remain. And this one here is called Aha Remain. This is Amber Oud Blue Edition. Okay, just Blue Edition, all right? Because they do have like Amber Ruby, Amber Gold, Amber Blue. No, I believe they have numerous blue fragrances and they have numerous Aha Remain fragrances. But this one is going to come at us with that. Blue Day Chanel DNA, so that grapefruit, that lemon, mint, pepper in the top. You're gonna have ginger, vetiver, jasmine in the mid. Then the base is gonna have that sandalwood, patchouli, and cedar. So this one is like, if you had taken Blue Day Chanel, the parfum, and made it a little bit more masculine. Yes, as much as that's crazy to say, I do kind of believe that this is better than that parfum concentration. I think the parfum concentration a little bit spicy from some noses. I have the Eau de Parfum concentration. That one's good too. The Parfum concentration is great. It's just for some people's noses. The reason I didn't get it is because I thought it was a little too much on the woods and the spices, right? I feel like this one with the citrus uh, can kind of balance it out as well as the floralness from the jasmine. And then the ginger as well kind of helps balance the DNA out a little bit. But this one's going to be really good for those hot weather days because of the ginger, because of the spiciness, because of the patchouli, the opening citrus is really gonna be one of those where, you know, you'll really get a nice array of fragrance notes. You'll get a nice performance, and then it won't also show people out. It'll be a nice masculine fragrance for you to wear during the hot weather days, okay? And, I mean, it's an aha made fragrance, so you're not gonna have to break the bank for this fragrance either. If you don't wanna pay Blue Day Chanel prices, you don't wanna pay that 150 to 170, for a full body, you can get this Al Hammerman Amber Gold. I think I paid $50 for it off of Drama Shop. So there you go, guys. So let's recap. You want that Dior Sauvage DNA, but a little bit smoother for a hot weather day, you go with this one here. This one here is called Little Rosa Carbon. If you want that fresh salt water freshness, you go right here. This one is light blue intense. You want that fresh shower gel, that fresh citrus accord, you go with Paco Rabanne and Victus Platinum. You want fresh citrus and fresh watery notes, man, you'll go with this one here. This one is Explore Blue by Mont Blanc. You want that fresh Blue de Chanel DNA, a little bit more affordable, you'll go with this one here. This one here is Aha Man Amber Root Blue Edition. All right, I'll do it, guys. Buy fragrances for the hot weather, for the humid weather. It's hot out here for sure, but there's no reason why we still shouldn't have a great fragrance on. There's no reason why we still shouldn't smell good in the high heat. Make sure you get a nice fragrance out there, no matter whether you're outside, you're going on a walk, you're going to work, or you're going to the gym, because remember, we're wearing our pre-workout fragrances out here. All right, make sure you look good, you feel good, you smell good, create opportunities for yourself, all right? That'll do it for today. We appreciate all you guys for rocking and tapping in with the channel. Make sure to subscribe down below. Make sure to like the video and share the channel with any fragrances that you know out there in the community. We'll catch you on the next one. Much love.